guys, Dirty here from Premiere Basics, and you wanna know how to shoot lightning out of your fingertips? Awesome, but why would you even do this? I don't know, because it just looks really cool. So let's open up Premiere and follow along. Oh, but wait, first film yourself acting like you're shooting lightning with your hands, and make sure that you do that in front of a dark background. This is important for the effect to work, and you'll see later on why that is. And now we can open up Premiere and drag the footage into the timeline. Navigate to the new item button and select color matte. Make sure it's black and then call it lightning or something. Drag it above your video at the exact moment that you want the lightning to start. Head over to the effects library and find the lightning effect. Drop that onto the color mat and head over to the effects controls. First, let's find the opacity property and set the blend mode to screen. Now you can see through that layer. Then from the lightning effect, let's change the color. Click on the outside color property and set it to white. Make sure that the inside color is also white. Otherwise, your lightning bolt will look like a toy lightsaber. Now you can further tweak these settings to your likings, but for now, I'm only going to need the width property. Increase it until it matches to your video. In the program monitor, you can see these two points, the start and the end point. Move your playhead to the first frame of the color mat, then drag the start point to your fingertip and the end point to somewhere in the middle of your palm. Set a keyframe to the start point and move to the end of your clip, then drag it back to your fingertip. The lightning bolt will now follow your finger. And if needed, you can always add extra keyframes in between to make the animation more accurate. Now we want the lightning to shoot up in the air. To do that, move your playhead to the beginning of the video and set a keyframe to the end point. Move a few frames forward and drag the end point upwards. If you play it back now, you can see that the lightning now shoots from your hand up into the sky. All right, copy and paste the lightning effect and expand it. Scroll down and select a random seed. This will make the lightning different from the first one. Then follow the same step for every single finger. This will take a while, but once you're done with it, it will look like this. Looking good, but still not perfect. So let's do some more tweaking. The next step is adding glow to the lightning so it looks more real. To do that, we're going to copy the color mat so that we can duplicate the effect. Now to create the glow, find the Gaussian blur effect and drop it onto the color mat. Now go to the effect controls and increase the blurriness until you're satisfied with the result. If you want to change the color of the glow, find the tint effect and drag it underneath the Gaussian blur. Change the map white to blue or whatever color that you like and play around with the amount control. This looks really cool already, and now it's time to top it off with some really important details. But first, guys, I want to announce something that I'm really excited about. I just finished my brand new filmmaking class on Skillshare, where you will learn everything about professional filmmaking in just two hours. Don't be overwhelmed, because this class is for anyone who wants to get started with filmmaking. You don't need any experience, as this class is focused at beginners. You will learn everything to take manual control over your camera. You'll learn even how to read the history to get the correct exposure, filmmaking art like the rule of third is something very important that every filmmaker should know about, and on top of everything, you will learn about all the kinds of gadgets that you can use to make your videos look truly professional. By the end of the class, you'll have a complete fundamental understanding of the rules of filmmaking. This means that you can start making videos like a professional would do. The exact same information is being taught at expensive film schools. And I would know because I've been to film school. So what is this gonna cost you? Well, if you're new to Skillshare, Share, you actually don't have to pay anything. You will get one month completely for free if you sign up using the link in the description down below. After that, it's a very small price per month and you actually get access to all of the classes on Skillshare. There is so much more going on at the professional level and Skillshare has all the classes that you need. Don't forget to check it out, guys. Link in the description. Sign up for Skillshare right now. And now let's go back to the lightning. It's time to make everything flicker. And we're gonna start with the inside of our hands. First, select the two color mats and hold down alt plus arrow up. This will move these two one track higher. Now duplicate the original clip by holding down alt and also dragging it one track up. And adjust the length of that video and head over to the effects library. Find the extract effect and drag it onto the duplicate. And make sure to set the blend mode to screen to blend those two clips together. Now move your playhead to the moment the lightning starts. Then increase the black input level until you see a white glow in the inside of your hands. And that's the reason why you had to shoot 
in front of a dark background. Because of that, only your hand is being selected, which is exactly what we want. Now set a keyframe and move a few frames forward, then increase it again until you barely see it. Keep moving forward and doing the same thing. When you're done, you will have this flickering effect. Now if you are still left with some spill from the extract effect, then you simply draw a mask around your hands. Now it does look a bit harsh, and to fix that, simply drag the Gaussian blur effect onto the clip and increase it until it becomes a white glow. Next, we're gonna add light flashes to the entire video. This will make the lightning effect look more realistic. Go to the effects library and find Lumetri color and drag it onto the original video. Now head over to the effects controls and expand the basic correction tab. Then move your playhead to the beginning of the effect and set a keyframe at the exposure property. Move one frame further and increase it. Then move forward again and decrease it. Keep doing this until you're at the end and now the effect has flashes everywhere. Now with lightning comes great responsibilities, but also heat. And to top this effect off, we're going to add some heat waves to the video. To do that, create an adjustment layer and drag it all the way on the top. Now find the turbulence displace effect. And by the way, Adobe, please make this effect GPU accelerated too. Seriously. We need it. Drag the effect onto the adjustment layer and head over to the effects controls. Now this looks a little bit weird, but to make it look like an actual heat wave, decrease the size and then increase the amount. Now we need to make the heat waves move just like in real life. And to do that, go to evolution and set a keyframe at the beginning. Move the playhead to the end of the effect and increase the evolution. Now the entire image is affected by the effect and we obviously don't want that. The heat wave should only appear around my hand. So click on the pen tool underneath the turbulence displace effect and draw a mask around the hands. Then increase the feather a little bit to not have those harsh edges, but make sure that you don't touch your hands with the mask. Otherwise, you'll get this weird edge around your fingers. Now that's hot to know, but to make it look even more incredible, we're going to make the video shake with the lightning. Select all the effect clips and nest them together. And simply drag one of our camera shake presets onto it, which you guys can download completely for free off from our website, link in the description down below. There's also an earthquake preset pack, which actually comes with some light flickering, so you could even use that. It's going to take the edge off your videos. How awesome is that? Now, this was pretty advanced, guys, and if you enjoyed this kind of video, then definitely check out this epic sky replacement and day to night effect on my left side. You're most definitely going to enjoy that video a lot. And if you like this video too, then make sure to hit that thumbs up button, which I really appreciate. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay creative.